we've got some very glamorous shops in the heart of Mayfair and we walk past in our oranges and our hard hats and go into the site and get to work. I hope they're completely oblivious to what we're doing. If they're not oblivious, then we're not doing our job right. <laughs> I'd say 50 to 60% of the general public you speak to every day don't realise we're here, which is good for us because we haven't caused too much disruption. We really are planning for Crossrail to be fully functional for the next 120 years. And the fact that our local environment doesn't really know that this secret underworld exists is a privilege to everyone working on Crossrail. There's always an unknown when you're digging. You don't know what the next bucket full of, of excavators is going to bring. But um, we've had no archaeological finds, so no cadavers come and crawling out. <laughs> been pretty lucky. You tunnel through, there's concrete sections put in place. Effectively, when it comes through the platform area here, it was a pilot hole, and then we excavated with a claw, so it sounds a bit cruder than what it actually is. And then at that point, then we sprayed lined concrete in the area. You go through Gray's Antiques, where well, we go below, that's 250 independent antiques dealers with some of the most expensive antiquities throughout London. It's not only odd, it's dread. When we were working on the Western Turkey Hall box, we were about three metres off the Jubilee line. The pressure is at really high at the moment. I enjoy the morning peace down in the tunnels when I'm first down there. And once all the day activities happen and the instructions being given, you do get a real sense of progress, of things moving forward and, and us achieving and delivering ultimately what is a physical structure that you can see. We've had this project in the planning stages for around about 30 to 40 years. This is a massive, massive contrast to what we've got at this moment in time and on the ground. Platforms are wider, platforms are longer. The trains themselves will carry around about double what a London Underground train will. Yeah, this is the biggest job I've ever done. 20, 30 years time, I think I, yeah, I'll, I'll still be talking about the Crossrail project. This sense of achievement that you get from building this station below some of the most historic buildings in London, yes, massive, massive. It feels great to be part of such a big project. It's such a, a highly valued infrastructure. The form of construction we've used here is called top-down construction. That's where we start a ground floor level and we build each level one by one. Those levels at minus five interconnect into the tunnels and make their way over to Heathrow, out to Reading, over to the southeast in Abbey Wood or over to Shenfield in the northeast of Essex. When it's completed I'll definitely go on it. I'll really look forward to going through Bond Street Station. <laughs> this really is moving London forward in terms of the engineering feat. It's also going to move the industry forward as well. In December 2018, you will be getting on a Crossrail train at Bond Street Station. 